So let's be honest with ourselves. Running your own accounting practice is difficult. It's really hard. You have to deal with HR issues. You're dealing with client billing issues. You're dealing with technology issues. On top of that, you're having to keep up with all the tax changes that the government keeps throwing at us, especially now with all the pandemic rules. It is hard, okay? It is hard to be a professional in this space and to have your own practice. Your clients go through the same kind of troubles when they're trying to run their own businesses. Running your own business is hard. Running your own accounting practice is hard. So one of the things that I don't quite understand is why accountants, why the profession in general, why we tend to compound that suffering on ourselves. And so, I, you know, life is suffering, so the Buddha says, but it doesn't have to be multiplied or compounded. And here's the reason why I wanna talk about this, is that this is what happened when I had my accounting practice. So I was doing the old traditional bill by the hour model, and what would happen is my, my whip would go da 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 da, and so here would be my whip, and my whip would be sitting at this number, and then I'd go, okay, I gotta build a client. And so now, oh, well the level's up here, where am I gonna build them, where am I gonna build them? Okay. Uh, I can't charge them all that, so I need to charge them here. So the invoice, here's the invoice, the revenue's down here. And so basically I had a write-off. And I was like, oh, I lost money, right? I lost money. And then the next client would come along and the whip would be, let's say the whip situation would be down here. So here's the whip and there's the whip dollars that on my billable hours are there. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, well last year I charged them this much so I can charge them at least this much or a little more you get this little adrenaline rush and there you go oh look I charge them this much so now what I had instead of a write-off I have a write up so I've got a write-off up here and a write-off a write-up over here and a write-off over there and so what we're talking about here is living your life on on a on a I'm struggling for the words here because it's so, I'm, st I'm having flashbacks from, from when it used to happen to me. I'm on a roller coaster. I'm up and then I'm down and then I'm up and then I'm down and then I'm up and then I'm down. Any of you in public practice who have your own practices, you'll understand what I'm talking about here. It's this constant up and down and you're suffering and then you're happy and then you're suffering and then you're happy. Here's the problem. The problem is, and when I have my practice, I, I finally found the solution to it, is that I realized I'm working with the wrong calculation. I'm working with the wrong calculation. I thought in my mind that you win when your revenues are greater, revenues minus whip equals the win. <laughs> That's you win, right? Revenue is greater than whip, you win. And so then you think you're winning, but if revenue is less than whip, you lose. That's not the calculation. <laughs> The calculation of having a company that makes money is revenue minus expenses equals win. That's the win. This isn't the win here. The win is right here. And this is what we have to get onto. So how did I get out of that? I moved over and I stopped tracking my whip. I moved over to a value price subscription model and I started focusing on the overall practice. And that's what I do in the accountant success formula is I work with accountants to show them how to work on the model so that they get revenues greater than their expenses so they make their net income. That's how you win. You don't win by having revenues over whip. That's a fictitious number. And it's like, it's like I said, it's hard enough running an accounting practice, but when you, when you're working on this calculation, you're trying to run, say you got 150 clients, you got 150 businesses, so you have 150 wins or losses, so you're, you're multiplying your suffering. I know this for a fact because this is what I did for 18 years. And then for the next eight years of my practice, I switched over to this value pricing and subscription model and I got to a win where I was making money for my practice, singular, one accounting practice making money instead of my, internal mental up and down yo-yo with this one. So there you go. I'm Eric Solback and wherever you're watching this, please scroll down, leave a comment for me and stay tuned for more success tips to come.